What's up guys, welcome to the channel, I am Stevie the Military Biker. Uh, today as you can see I am back in the garage uh, for another awesome uh, review and install video uh, because these legends sent me something for the Street Glide special to change out the crappy OEM part and there's a clue of who they are. So let's get into the video. So, like I said, obviously stock, you know, OEM windshield, if you like, from Harley. Pretty rubbish, isn't it? Let's be honest. I mean, some people like it, some people don't. Uh, I don't like it because I think it's a bit short for me, if you know what I mean. So it buffers quite a lot around my helmet and stuff. So the legends at Long Ride Shields sent me this. This is a Reaper Elite windshield from Long Ride Shields in the dark tint as you can see now it is an eight inch all right and as opposed to i don't know what the hell that is five let's say um and it measures pretty good to uh, just below just in between my lip and my nose which is good i've already um figured that out as you know as all, most of you guys would you try and get a new shield would know how to measure that up i'm not going to tell you that you can check out another video for that um, but the cool thing about these guys is check this out man as you can see look at that it's got a sort of lip at the top which pushes the air up and over your head. So, and it is made in the States, uh, and it is definitely it is made from polycarbonate, right? And the difference with these guys is, look at this. I don't know if you can see, but check that out. See the side here, and the sides, they've got little wings on the side of the windshield. So it actually gives you a hell of a lot more protection from the wind uh, on the sides of your gloves, your hands, whatever, if you're riding without gloves on. I don't know why you do that, but if you are, um, so yeah absolutely fantastic so what i'm going to do i'm going to take this off i'm not going to show you how to do that because it's literally three t27 uh, hex screws take them out take that out throw it in the bin or sell it on ebay whatever you want to do and i'm going to show you how to fit this pretty simple let's do that now off easy as that so i'm going to put the next the new one in now what they do say is obviously Attention, big sticker on the front says attention, you can see that, there is, I'll read it out here, it says warranty instructions, do not re remove the plastic masking from the surface of the windshield until you are 100% certain uh, that your shield is the correct size and tint. No refunds or exchanges will be accepted once the plastic masking, this, uh, has been removed. For more information, refer to the red installation instructions included with your shield. Now, I'll show you that actually because it's pretty awesome. You can't miss this. Look at that instructions on how to fit it all right make sure you read that thoroughly because it is pretty uh pretty good so what we'll do is we'll fire this in just all i've done is i've peeled this i've peeled the thingy back just slightly so i can get this in because it is quite awkward if you don't So you can see there look at that i mean it looks <laughs> looks better already <laughs> so obviously the good thing about these guys as well is they give you some longer screws which is awesome all right and they are allen key size screws uh, as you can see there one big long one goes in the middle obviously you would have found this out when you took the other one off and the two smaller ones go on either side so i'm gonna do that now you don't need to see me doing that so i'm gonna do it anyway what i will say is before i obviously put the nuts and bolt uh, the screws in is they sent me this as well so this is a striker aluminium uh windshield trim which goes on and makes just makes it look a bit more awesome when you put it on you know what i mean bit like that and they do have all sorts of other trims as well so you know this one's a striker made out of aluminium uh, and that they do have like maybe i don't know maybe eight or ten more of these that you can choose from different variants different colors uh they all have a one called the patriot one which has got an american flag and stuff on it which is pretty awesome so yeah you'll see when i put this on properly in a sec there will be the windshield trim uh, across the front of the bike there so i'm gonna do that now all right so once you once you've got it on once you're happy as a big yellow sticker says there all right do not over tighten the screws torque to 25 to 30 inch pounds all right i've just done that with my torque wrench and she is good obviously you don't over tighten this because either you're going to crack the screen or you're going to crack your uh, 
the cap on the front end of the bike, which you do not want to do, <laughs> man. I tell you what, you don't want to do that. So as you can see, it's on, and I'll show you exactly what I mean now by the lips either side. So there you go, you can see the curvature of the screen there at the top of the lip that uh, obviously fires all the wind above and over your head. Uh, and as you can see, the uh, the trim that goes on the front makes it look pretty cool. And as you can see there, it does say LRS, Long Ride Shields. So there you go, it's pretty awesome, eh? It's pretty awesome. So now it's on, uh, let's hit the road, man. We'll go check it out and see what the wind's like and see the differences and, you know, see what the actual uh, the windshield can do while out on the road. So there you go guys, that, that, that's it fitted. Uh, right there you can see uh, the long ride shields on the windshield on the front there. Um, I need to give it a wash now. I've been out riding for probably about an hour or so and that can be um, maybe an hour and a half. And I'll give you my honest opinion. That is one awesome windshield. It really is. Really is cool. Um, I love the fact that there's flares come out the side here and obviously it then pushes the wind around your body as opposed to you know you getting smashed with your hands and, and what have you. It pushes the wind around your body, which is really cool. So if you're thinking about, you know, or you're umming and on about what you know you would you would like these the, the sort of flares on the side, then give it a try, man. You know, the the, the, the value for money with this is, is phenomenal. Um, and you can see the flare there as well. You know, it's it's really good and it really does push the wind around your body. And we'll go for a ride now, but you know, she pushes the wind around your body. And this is the nine inch one, uh, sorry, the eight inch. And it certainly pushes the wind over my head, which is phenomenal, which is really cool. Because you don't want to get any wind buffeting or anything like that. That's for sure. But you know, that's me doing what, that 60K an hour now and you know, I can't feel it. And when I was coming in as well, I was doing probably close to 110. Uh, and again, close that so you can hear me. Uh, and again, you know, the wind buffering was was zero, if I'm honest. Um, I felt above my head, it's probably, oh shit, gravel. Um, yeah, it's probably going over about an inch, maybe half an inch over my, my top of my helmet, uh, which is really good considering, um, you know, that's what you want it for really, you know, buffering the front, you know, in and around your helmet and you get zero buffering with this at all. Um, so yeah, I mean, I can absolutely recommend this. Like I said, I've been on for about an hour and a half now, um, and this is one really awesome shield. It really is. Um, it looks good. It fits well, you know, and it fits well with the bike. The dark isn't, I mean, this is the dark tint, and I can see straight through that. Absolutely can see straight through. Um, Level-wise, I think it's it's pretty perfect. To be fair, I can see straight over the top, no problem whatsoever. Um, and yeah, I've got a good view of the road ahead of me, in front of me, and that is an eight-inch eight-inch uh, windshield. I am five foot ten, roughly. Um, so I think it's a really good height for me. Um, but yeah, man, I can't complain. Uh, you know, co considering some of the competitors out there are charging a hell of a lot more money um, for exactly the same, you know, more or less the same job. Um, or windscreen, more same look, same same everything really. Uh, these guys do it for uh, you know a fraction of the cost. So really well made, really well put together windshield. I love these flares. I was about, it was, I'll be honest, I was pretty apprehensive about it. About I didn't know whether it was you know I wanted something going past where the original OEM windshield would have you know stopped around about here. But now I've got it on the bike. And now I can see how well it works and how well it looks. I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy with it, man. Yeah, I absolutely, I love it. It's really awesome. Um, it is a phenomenal windshield. Uh, but as you've seen, you know, it looks aesthetically looks fantastic from the front, from the back, from the side, everywhere. So yeah, so there you go. Um, you know, I have had this up to 110, 120k an hour, uh, and I felt nothing uh, in and around my helmet area. Um, so it's doing its job and it's doing its job well but yeah really impressed man really impressed with with this windshield uh from long ride shields the name of it i cannot for the life of me remember what it's called <laughs> but i will i'll leave a link down below so you guys can go check out this exact windscreen i mean this is on my 2021 uh harley davidson street glide special uh and it fits and looks amazing it fits perfectly so 
uh, you know the wind trim the windshield trim as well on the front uh, makes it look that little bit more you know a little bit more tidy a little bit more uh, you know in in with the bike really with the black theme of the bike uh, again on the, the black trim at the front there so go check the trim out as well again I'll leave a link to the trim down the bottom the one that I've got um, but yeah I, I just I can't speak highly enough of this you know I'll, I will do a full proper year you know I, I've had it for a year on review I've had it on for a year review in a year's time um, or you know or around about a year's time so you can get the feel of it but first impressions man it's an absolutely fantastic windshield it really is oh, wonderful seeing you moose probably not but yeah can't complain cannot complain at all my body's shielded from the wind my helmet is shielded from the wind my uh, hands and gloves are absolutely shielded from the wind and it helps with the, like I said the flares on either side to push it around your body and it really does do a great job of doing that Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little sort of install and review, first impressions re uh, review video. Uh, like I said, I'll do this in about a year's time. I'll, I'll do a proper review and see see how we're doing, see if I've removed it, see if I've kept it on, see, you know, whatever. Uh, see where we're at in a year. But, yeah, I can't complain so far. I'm super impressed. I really am really impressed. A big thank you to Long Ride Shields for uh, allowing me to uh, review their stuff, their windshield. Phenomenal. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, and the, the, the customer service is, is, is bang on as well. Really, really cool people. Anyway, I am Stevie, the military biker. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, uh, please think about subscribing. It does help the channel grow. And there's a thousand bloody odd uh, videos on my channel uh, for you guys to go check out. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy the ride. I'm going to get back. We'll get something to eat, maybe have a pint at the pub. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Remember, you'll never walk alone. <laughs>